if we're in 1951, 1952, it's only been a few years back that there was a very corrupt, unpopular monarchy. So they were very excited to begin with about nationalization and supported Mossadegh. But significance of this international agreement not to buy any of Iran's oil was a big deal. And it began to erode some of Mossadegh's popularity. And after a couple of years of that and getting Mossadegh more and more vulnerable, outside powers decided it was finally time to overthrow him altogether. First, it was the British idea, because the British had had this long-standing relationship with Iran. Plus, they were the primary engine of the oil industry. But the British weren't in a strong position to overthrow Mossadegh themselves, and they came to the US. In this um, Eisenhower administration, they put a plan together to overthrow Mossadegh. The CIA brought operatives over, brought money, organized some people in Iran, and basically arrested Mossadegh and put uh, an American ally in power who was a, a general. They declared this Iranian general the prime minister. We have to note there still is a king. He's not powerful then. He's more of a, a nominal or in name only kind of figure, but he's still there. And the king and his advisors were involved in this American uh, decision to overthrow Mossadegh. There was some period around it where it didn't go smoothly at first, and the Shah thought, oh no, this is going the wrong way, and he actually got scared and he went into exile because he thought this attempt to overthrow Mossadegh was failing. But eventually it did succeed, and the U.S. actually brought him back as part of the coup. U.S. money comes in then, U.S. advisors. One of the first things that the U.S. does is train a secret police to make sure that the Shah can stay in power and not have opposition that really threatens him. So right then in 1953 is the switch that we'll see from there, then on that where the British are no longer very significant in Iran and the U.S. for the next 25 years has this intensely close relationship with the Shah and is literally responsible for him being on the throne from 1953 and then on from there.